Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all don't throw these away, mind blowing. Stay tuned. Y'all, this is a very useful and simple craft, but it had your girl struggling. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you so much for choosing to be here. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I hope that after this video, I will have earned your subscription. If not, if you choose not to subscribe, thank you so much anyway for choosing to spend this time with me. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. One thing that I know I can do is I can design a box, I can design a bag, I can cut this angle, cut that angle, and figure it out. But this little project had me stumped for quite a while. And then finally, I was able to figure out a workable way of doing it. This is one of those Tootsie Roll holders that if you're in the United States, you can find these anytime they're selling Valentine's candy. Usually these are sold in places like Target, Walmart, the Dollar Tree, and sometimes even places like CVS or Walgreens. They might be a little bit taller, but this one is the perfect size for today's craft. Because here is today's craft. We're going to take this empty canister and we're going to turn it into a tissue holder that will fit in the cup holder of most vehicles. So I know that it fits in my car's cup holder and it's perfect because before I would have either a box like this or one of the square boxes in my car in the car console. But now I don't have to do that because I can make these little cuties and look how cute they actually are y'all. We can make these to fit our car's cup holders. You can make these and package them as a gift because they are just that cute and that easy. So I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So if you're looking at these from overhead, this is what they look like. So I went ahead and added some decorative paper to the top. Then I added decorative paper around the entire thing. So very easy, like I said, to be able to cover this. You can cover it very quickly. The challenging part for me was figuring out how to take these long sheets of paper and make them fit so that they would come out one after the other when you pulled from this little cup here. And y'all, I'm not ashamed to show this. This is how many tissues I went through in my attempts to figure this project out. This is no joke. All of those tissues were sacrificed for me to be able to figure out a way that was going to work for me. Now, I'm sure that many of you probably have a way that's working. There are probably other people who have a way that's working. But one of the things that I make it a point not to do is whenever I'm thinking about a craft, I don't YouTube it because I want my idea not to be influenced by someone else. So it's quite possible that I'm reinventing a wheel that's already been invented, but I wanted this to truly be something that I worked through from beginning to end. So I do think that I have a little process that's going to work if you're interested in doing this. So here's what we're going to need to make it. So for my project, I'm using one of the Tootsie Roll canisters and I got this one from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm using here are standard two ply facial tissues. Then I have a sheet of 12 by 12, but we're going to cut it down to fit our project. Now this is going to be a process video where I will show you the process of how I'm doing it. Your canister might be larger than this, so this is truly a process video, and I'll show you the steps that I use to determine the size of this and how to cut my paper, and then how to place my tissues. So the first thing that I'm going to do is measure how long my canister is. And it appears to be approximately four and three quarters, a little bit less than four and three quarters, but very close to that. And then I'm just going to take this and it appears to be close to three inches. So I'm going to take that three inches and I'm going to multiply it by three because basically what I did was I divided this into thirds. And that's gonna give me a rough estimate 
of about how much paper I need to be able to wrap around. So this is approximately three inches. I'm going to take that three, multiply it by three to give me nine. So I'm going to cut a piece that measures nine by four and three quarters. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to trim it down to four and three quarters. Then I am going to trim it on the 12 inch side to nine. And we'll be using both pieces. So then we need to bring in the canister and we're going to press that paper all the way up to the lip. And if we have any hanging over at the bottom, we need to trim it. This looks like it's a pretty good fit, so I'm not going to do any trimming. So I'm going to take my half inch tape and I'm going to run a strip in this direction on one end. So now I'm just going to take my strips of one and a half inch tape and I'm going to place them down like this. And I want to make sure that I have it as edge to edge coverage or as close to the edge as possible. And then we'll take this last piece and we'll put it right there in the middle. And now I'll just trim away that excess tape and put it back on my sheet. So now we'll just take this and we're going to peel away all of the tape backers. And we're going to attach this to our canister. So this really is the process that you'll follow if you want to do a craft like this. Just measure to get the size of your paper and then add tape and then place it down. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the seam that's already on here, I'm not going to match this with the seam. I want to bring it over just a little bit because I don't want that seam getting in the way. So then when I place this, I am going to be placing it so that I am as close to the top as possible going around and I'm kind of putting it under the lip. So you can see how I've placed it there. When I put it down, I'm pulling it tight and then I'm just making sure that it naturally wants to go under that lip. And now I can just take my big old spatula, go around, and just to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck, especially at my seam point of my paper. So we're just getting this nice and stuck. And y'all, look at how beautiful this one is. It's going to work perfectly with the others. So there's that canister. So now we're going to take that lid and with the inside place down I am just going to trace then when I take my scissors I am going to cut inside if you want you can measure your lid and if you happen to have a punch that fits that size go ahead and give that a try you can trim that down always to make it fit so I am just following my circle. Of course, my hand cutting won't be perfect, but y'all, it's going to be okay. So now I'll bring this piece back in and we're going to test it to see if it fits and it's still just a little bit too big. So I am just going to go along the edge and trim off a little bit more following my circle shape and I'll just keep test fitting it to see if it fits. I can still take off a little bit more. So I'm going to do that and do another test fit. So now I'll test fit this piece and I have a really good fit. So now I'm just going to take some tape. We're going to make sure that we put tape down so that we are covering the inside completely. I'm simply using the scrap tape that I had left over from when I put down this part of the project. So now I'm just going to use my finger blade, go around, 
and trim out my excess tape. And so now here is my insert ready to go. But before I put it down, I need to go ahead and cut an opening here on the lid. On mine, I have this part here that I can stick my finger under and pull up. And that also has a natural line here. That's the line that I'm going to follow. So I am just going to take my finger blade and it cuts through this very easily. And all I'm doing is cutting. And you can see here that it was very easy to cut through. So then I am just going to take my finger blade and I'm going to make a straight cut here. How wide you cut is totally up to you. But basically I'm going to cut out a rectangle. If you want, you can place a little template down on the inside. I am just going to eyeball it. And then we'll finish our cut here. Let's see how we did. And we'll pop that piece out. There is our opening. Now I'm going to take this piece We'll peel away the tape backer. And I'm going to take this and just tuck it underneath like that. Then I'm going to make sure that I have a really good stick by taking my big old spatula and going around like that. And then when I flip it over, I'm basically going to start cutting from this point to this point. So I am just going to make a pass, cutting this way. And then once I have it cut this way, all I'm going to do is take my finger blade and go into the and go to the opposite point and cut to get that triangle. Then I'll go to this point and cut to make another triangle. So you'll see the effect of this in just a minute. So we're going to take these pieces and fold them back. This is just giving us a nice smooth opening to our top here. That way when you're pulling out your tissues, they won't get all ragged and torn the way that some of mine originally did. So then I'm just going to take this little bone folder, go on the inside, and make sure I have this nice and smooth like that. Then I'm going to take the bottom of this and just make sure that I burnish my tape down like that. So now I can take my lid and let's just put it on like that and now y'all we have a really beautiful canister that we can set out at our home on our desk at work in the car which is really why i made this so i can have these to put in my car and have a nice little holder out in the car that i don't have to fumble around to find but this is just so cute now we need to put the tissues in so when i open the tissues i am going to open them from the side, there are 128 tissues in this box. I am going to put 32 tissues in each one of my canisters. So I'll be able to do four canisters from one box of tissue. So now I'm going to show you how I eventually did it. The tissues are interlocking. So I needed to make sure that my tissues had some type of interlocking on them. And that was the part that was driving me crazy. So I am going to hand lay each one of these. Now this won't be for everyone. Some of you will think it's a waste of time and that's okay, this project isn't for you. But for those of you who want this look, try doing it this way because I think that you'll find it very easy. So I have the opening of my tissue facing up this way. 
So all of the pieces that I lay down are going to have the opening facing up. So I'm going to take this one, place it down like that. So I placed it about halfway. Then I'm going to fold this one over. This is how I'm going to get that interlocking. And so what I'm going to do when I lay my next one down, you always lay it down on the folded piece and then you interlock with this piece. And I'm laying it down with the opening all going in the same direction. So again, here is that folded over piece. I'm going to take this piece, lay it down, and fold over. And like I said, this is something I don't mind doing because it's very soothing for me, but it might not be for you. So this definitely wouldn't be one of those crafts that you might be interested in doing, or you might want to figure out another way of doing it that works for you. So there's that fold with my openings all going in the same direction. I'll lay it down on that fold and then fold over that other piece. Same thing here, let's lay it on the fold, fold over. And I just keep doing this until I have the number of tissues that I want in my container. And so y'all, I'm about to lay down the last three. So again, there is where I fold it. So I'll take this piece, lay it on that fold, and then I'll fold this over. Take this piece with the opening facing in the same direction, lay it on that fold, fold over, and then we have one more. So I'll take this piece, place it right there, fold over, so now that we have all of our tissues down, we're going to leave this piece hanging out and I'm just going to flip it so that the top part is all of the closed ends and the open ends are on the bottom. So this is that tail. We're going to lift this flap and take this tail and just move it to the top like that. And then we're going to fold this back over it and it's going to look like this. So we're getting it ready to be pulled. And we're just going to fold it in like this. So you're going to fold it towards you like this. Unless you're left-handed, you might do it in reverse, but I'm right-handed, so I'm folding it in towards me, and I'm going to put it in my canister like this. You can see how that looks. Then I'm going to take my canister top and feed that piece through the opening and then I'll close it. Now I'm going to pull out my first sheet. When you pull out that first sheet of tissue, it might have a little resistance to it, but just pull it because it should cause the other sheet to pull forward. And then you just keep pulling. So when you get to the point that it's hanging out like that, if you don't really want it hanging out after you've used it, just sort of tuck it back in like that. But you can see that I was able to pull out two sheets one at a time. And so I'm very pleased that I was able to get it to work. And don't you think this is just a great way to repurpose those Tootsie Roll canisters into something that's very useful in our cars. So I'm going to pull a couple of these sheets in because I want to make sure that we're very clear on how we're doing this. So when I laid them down, I laid them down so that the tops all go in the same direction. So whether you have the tops open here at the top or open here at the bottom, it doesn't really matter. They just all need to be going in the same direction so that when you lay another piece down, whether you have the tops facing you or the tops facing away from you, all the tops are going in the same direction. 
That way, when you get ready to finish your roll and put it in the canister, you're going to have this tail piece and you're going to have the closed end facing up and you're going to fold this piece back and just open this piece a little bit and bring that piece over and then you fold in and place it in your canister. It really is as simple as that. So I'm going to bring my cute little canisters back in. 32 tissues I have in each canister. Don't know if you can get more in there or not because I haven't even tried that. But I love not only how cute this is, but y'all, this is some functional repurposing. We took those Tootsie Roll canisters that we might have discarded and look at what we turned them into. So I hope that you have enjoyed this project and whether you have Tootsie Roll canisters or Pringles cans or oatmeal canisters, whatever it is you might have, I hope that you'll use this process to turn it into something like this. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's super awesome video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.